Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and today we're going to take a look at the Workman P5000. This is a meter by Workman. Uh, it's supposed to be rated uh, for up to 5,000 watts uh, for measurements. Got uh, the three windows here. SWR, wattage, and modulation. They all work uh, at the same time, so you can see all thing, all three uh, simultaneously, which is nice. The uh, meter has a forward and reflect option here for setting this. It's got lamps on it. Turn the lamps on. It's got a headphone monitor. You can listen to yourself uh, talking, adjust your echo, or whatever you want to hear. It's got adjustment uh, here to adjust for your SWR. This is your power scale adjustment. This is the knob for that. I'll discuss that in a second. Um, that's to set the different scales. There's a 10 watt, 100 watt, 1000 watt, 5000 watt scale there. Over here we've got uh, adjustment here for setting your modulation uh, when you want to set it before you actually measure it. There's a set position and a modulation position on this knob here. Modulation window here. Over here is your peak and average power switch. On the back of this meter, um, let me just take the camera back here. We've got power coming in here. There's a head, uh, sound adjustment for your headphone jack here so you can uh, raise or lower the sound. Antenna jack here, antenna jack uh, here, trans, uh, transmitter, antenna. The knob for this was missing from the factory when I opened this, so uh, let's take one point off for that to start with. But before we get too far, Let's uh, actually show how this meter works and the functions, and then I'll kind of get into some of the nitty-gritty details. First off, let's do uh, SWR. Uh, SWR, you'll set it to the forward position. You'll key the radio. You'll use this knob here to set it to this set location on the meter here. You can flip it over to your reflect and see we've got a 1.1 SWR. Uh, which is what we should be at. So the SWR meter uh, at this point seems fairly accurate. The wattage scale is here. Um, right now, I'll set it to 10 watt scale. And I'll discuss right now the knob. This is the knob from the factory that was on here. And I'll put it back on. And I went to change the uh, control. I don't know if I can show this, but as you can see, there should be a click engagement, and I'm not getting that. And this thing is sliding back and forth, and I can explain why. <clears throat> this knob, as you can see the grooves in here, to match the grooves on the adjustment knob, this matches up well with this. This turns, and this turns. This black plastic piece around the white plastic piece is loose. So as you turn this, you're just spinning this black plastic piece around this white piece. This is the way it came from the factory. The modulation control actually had the exact same problem. These things aren't really glued or set to these white pieces. This is a really cheap knob. I'm not impressed. Um, first off, I'm missing a knob on the back of the radio. And secondly, these ones aren't strong enough to hold uh, the friction between the two for when you're turning this power scale. So I can't even uh, change this with this <laughs> knob. So for a $100 meter, I'm not real impressed uh, right off the bat that the knobs don't work and I have to take it off to actually turn this. So let's show the measurement. Um, we've got a RCI 2950DX hooked up. This is on high power, should do about 10 watts. Uh, I've actually got it set uh, just over 10 watts and we'll measure our dead key and it's showing on the bottom scale we're on the 10 watt scale which is the bottom of this red line down here and it's showing 9 watt dead key which is fairly accurate for what we're doing right now let's flip over to the 100 watt scale and we'll see what we're showing <clears throat> now on the 100 watt scale here it's 180 60 40 30 20 10 uh, 8 and then 6 4 2 1 0 showing a 6 watt dead key uh, on the 100 watt scale which I know is not quite as accurate there because it should be more about 10 watts so once we switched up to the 100 watt you can see there's about a 4 watt difference uh, between what we know the radio is actually putting out and what the meter is measuring uh, we'll do uh, RMS measurement on average power so we got average here <whistles> quick whistle you see it went up to about 8 watts 
uh, RMS, which uh, is a little stingy as well. Um, uh, it should be doing, I believe we've got around 18 watts RMS on this radio. Uh, so that's a little bit off for that. Let's go up and check our peak wattage. Once again, 6 watt dead key. About 38 watts uh, on the uh, output. And 38 watts is about exactly what this radio is doing on uh, high on peak. So uh, <clears throat> that's correct. Um, the uh, RMS is a little bit off uh, from what I would expect, but uh, the peak seems to be matching up well. So that's how you measure that. RF watts just in the middle here. Let's move over and take a look at the modulation. First off for the modulation, you need to set it. What you have to do is give the dead key, and as you can see this knob isn't lining up here once again because it's spinning, but we use the set uh, option, so even though it says mod, we're actually in the set, once again because of this knob. We'll use the setting control knob over here, and we'll put it in the set position, and then we'll flip over, and once again this is loose, pull this uh, thing off here and flip it to the mod position. Audio. So this is AM modulation. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, audio. So you can see we're hitting 100% modulation, which is uh, where we should be at. And uh, modulation meter reads correct. So overall, uh, we'll show you the inside of this meter as well. And uh, not a whole lot more to talk about, really, but SWR seems to work well. The RF watt meter seems to be fairly accurate on the peak. Uh, the RMS, like as we showed, uh, switching between was a little bit off uh, on its reading, but uh, overall not bad. I mean, for a meter, there's going to be a little bit uh, variance, but uh, modulation pretty much right on um, where I have this set for, I know, about 100% modulation. I like the modulation meter. I like the fact that, you know, it's showing me uh, my SWR, my wattage output and my modulation all at the same time here. So uh, three window meters, very cool for that. This particular meter, everything seems to work well, except it came with these uh, cheap knobs, which uh, don't really work. So for $100, you get a meter that works, except for the knobs that you can't change. So <laughs> you guys can uh, decide what you want on that one yourself. Uh, the uh, monitoring for the headphone works <clears throat> whether the power's on or off on this and you can hear yourself talking that seemed to work fine volume uh, Control there basically was uh, not a whole lot of play um, On the pot that they used on the back for the control. So I don't know what uh, uh, Value they used for the pot, but it's uh, pretty much just a little bit of uh, Variance there for setting your volume. It's kind of like not on not on not on loud So but it does work fine. You can hear yourself through it um, the Workman P5000, uh, as far as a meter goes, you know, for you guys, it could work fine for a lot of people. Uh, as far as the quality goes for me, I would not be spending $100 again on a meter that knobs fall off on. So I'll leave it at that for you guys. Uh, I'll show you the inside and uh, we'll wrap up the video that way. So this is the inside of the Workman P5000 meter. And you can see the connections here on the back of each of the three individual meters circuit boards at either end and rather than having a one big circuit board they've done a circuit board at either end uh, supporting different functions so this one's going to be uh, towards the antenna side and the other circuit board is towards your input side there's a circuit board along the bottom here and your switches and all of your knobs and controls are integrated into the uh, bottom circuit board, so three separate circuit boards inside the meter. All right, two last things I forgot to mention here. Uh, a little forgetful on my part. It actually came with its own headphone jack here to go over your ear. Uh, this is for the monitoring jack to go in here, and so you can listen to yourself talk. Second thing is the power jack on this. Um, it comes with this wire uh, that plugs into your, your jack here, and it's just a uh, a positive negative wire it doesn't actually have ends on it so this doesn't come with a wall ward so if you do want the lights on this model I mean this is more of a base uh, model type SWR meter 
It doesn't come with its own AC adapter to DC. So this requires a 13.8 volt DC. So you will need uh, to have a power supply to actually run the lights on this unless you go out and buy yourself a little adapter, uh, AC to DC adapter to plug in directly to the wall. So uh, something else to know. Once again, P5000 uh, from Workman.